hey you guys welcome back to my channel if you've never been here before my name is Lizbeth and I share my personal style my love for easy beauty and today I'm gonna be introducing you to Versed, sharing what I love and don't love from this skincare brand everything in their line is $20 and under I think their sunscreen is a little bit more just launched I am part of the skin team which is kind of like a glossier rep which simply means I get a commission from whatever you purchase I have acne prone sensitive skin I get irritated really easily and and I have dark spots and acne scars that I like to tackle and take care of. So if you want to learn more about Versed, what I love and don't love, then keep watching. All right, so Versed is a clean beauty brand that you can get at Target. You can buy it at other online retailers and you can actually buy it from Versed.com, which is great. It's a non-toxic, cruelty-free, vegan skincare line. And they actually follow the EU standards of banning over 1,300 toxins or questionable ingredients. So there's no artificial fragrance, no artificial colors, no parabens, no sulfates, no added phthalates, no silicones, no formaldehyde no triclosan, no triclarbin, no petroleum, no mineral oil, no talc, and 92% of their containers are recyclable. I actually shared how to recycle them. If you head over to Target's website, I did the recycling video so you can see what is recyclable and how do you dispose of it. So everything is quite simple. And if it's in a larger container, they don't use any extra packaging, any extra trash. They want to be 100% sustainable, which I think is a really great direction to move in. Let's get into it. I want to share my thoughts. I think it's probably going to be quite a long video, but I'll be sure to timestamp everything below so you guys know which products I'm talking about, what category it is. And I want to share, I am not an esthetician. Just want to preface that. But yeah, let's finally get into this video and let's talk about Versed. So I quickly want to insert this clip right here because I just finished filming my Versed video about what I love and don't love, which obviously you're watching right now. But I actually didn't go into kind of like my skincare routine with them all. I do have two IGTV videos I will link below sharing how I use all these products, like an AM routine and a PM routine. So in case you're curious how I incorporate all these like I said, I only used Versed the last couple mm. months. You can see mm. how that Versed routine is. But um, this guy, I think he's over hearing about skincare. But um, I hope you guys are enjoying this video and I just wanted to insert that. And if you have any questions, be sure to comment them below. I also want to preface, I'm not wearing any makeup because I really wanted to show and share how fresh and luminous and bright my skin looks from using all of Versed and testing out their products. But I will be upfront and honest, nothing terribly irritated my skin where, you know, it lasted more than a couple days. But then again, we all have different sensitivities. So be mindful of that. But anyways, let's get into it. So these are the cleansers. This is the Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm and this is the Wash It Out Gel Cleanser. Together, they are quite a dynamic duo. I love, love, love them together. Separately, I'm not the biggest fan of the gel cleanser, but all in all, I absolutely love the Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. This costs $17.99 and you get 2.3 ounces of it. To me, a little goes a long way. It is definitely worth it, but this actually comes in a mini size. So if you wanna test it out and see if it works for you, get the mini size. And this is made with eucalyptus oil, clove leaf oil, vitamin E, jojoba oil, and avocado oil. So it has this kind of minty fresh scent but it doesn't irritate my skin it doesn't burn my eyes and what i really love about this is it melts off my makeup so gently some people do say it doesn't melt off their makeup it doesn't do much for them but maybe because i'm not wearing like waterproof mascara or really you know intense i don't know what i would use but it gently and effectively removes my makeup so i highly recommend this one i love it definitely check this one out and this is a washout gel cleanser what's interesting is this is soap free so by itself i don't love it as like a first step but it's super gentle and it's a light frothy feel and the ingredients are rose water mint apple amino acids and seaweed extract so it's quite different it's quite gentle I did read a review that it has alcohol in it so that irritated somebody's skin to me it doesn't irritate me this costs 12.99 and it's actually 6.4 fluid ounces so you get a great amount for $12.99 and I recommend this duo 100%. All right, now for the toner. So this is the Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution and then this is the Baby Cheeks All-in-One Hydrating Milk. Out of the two, I love the Weekend Glow Brightening Solution. 
that's what it does. It's going to brighten your skin. And this is specifically formulated for those that have dark spots, any scarring, any hyperpigmentation. And I annoyingly get that post breakout. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have dark spots here. Maybe they're not as intense as some because I have been using the brightening solution. And that is because it is made with lactic acid, glycolic acid, azelaic acid, kojic acid, bearberry extract, and vitamin C. So this is going to exfoliate. It's going to clean out your pores as well. So it could help keep your acne or breakouts at bay. I definitely noticed that I haven't had too, too many breakouts. What I love is it doesn't sting. And that's the annoying part about acid exfoliators. And this brightens your skin. Skin, it doesn't insanely exfoliate it. So I'm due for a refill. I definitely recommend it's $17.99. You get four fluid ounces. It does last. I also want to talk about Verse Cotton Rounds. You guys can order these online. And I know it's a sustainable product, but it's so hard to wash. And after I've washed it, I still notice some residue and that kind of grosses me out. So I need to figure out a proper way to wash them. Maybe I'll dispose a Folex on them to properly clean them, but that's the only about it that I don't love is the cleansing process. But what's cool to know two things is you can use this on other parts of your body, like your bum, your underarms, wherever you have dark spots, you can use this pretty much head to toe. Also, I learned this is a great fake tan remover. So if you like to fake tan and you get some blotchy spots, you can use this to remove. So pretty cool tip. And then now for the Baby Cheeks All-in-One Hydrating Milk. This is actually made with coconut water, algae extract, and bamboo extract. This is intended to be a makeup remover, an essence, a cleansing milk, a way to hydrate your skin post breakout. Like maybe if you use like a spray water or something, an essence to add more hydration, this is supposed to be that. But surprisingly, it irritates my skin. So I don't love this. This is intended for people with dry skin. This is a pass for me but I do love the brightening solution. So definitely check that out. All right, now let's talk about the serum. So the three serums, I absolutely love the firming serum and the clarifying serum. There is a brightening serum, which it's raved about. A lot of skincare gurus really, really love this, but it does irritate my skin, which is kind of annoying. And it runs for $19.99. So the On The Rise Firming Serum, I really love it because it is boosting collagen. It'll help smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And it won't make your wrinkles go away, but it'll definitely prevent it. And I really, really like this. My skin has definitely felt brighter. It's felt lifted. It, it's not irritated by this. It just feels good. My skin feels supple with it. So I definitely recommend this. It has vitamin C, which is quite surprising to me because other vitamin C products irritate my skin, but Verst has formulated vitamin C in other products where it doesn't irritate my skin. So I'm not too sure what the deal is with that, but this has vitamin C in it, but also has resveratrol in it and have some notes on resveratrol. And that, that is a powerful anti-aging antioxidant. It'll help neutralize damaging free radicals and strengthen your natural skin's defense. It works on a cellular level to help with aging, which is quite nice. So it penetrates a lot deeper and it has been shown to protect against ultraviolet radiation and stress. It helps with redness, uneven skin, bumpy texture, and dullness. And I definitely have noticed this does that. My skin looks brighter. The My skin just looks more luminous and glowy. I love this. I definitely recommend it. It also has a peptide blend and peptides are so good for your skin. So love this. And then the Just Breathe Clarifying Serum was actually designed to clear acne and manage excess pore clogging sebum. It is made with willow bark, which will soothe irritated skin and it's both anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial. So it'll clear your pores and helping with any acne irritation. It has zinc, which is anti-inflammatory and that is going to help with bacteria and reduce oil production and niacinamide which will reduce inflammation and hyperpigmentation to smooth your overall skin texture and brighten your skin so i like this one i'm it's different for me because most acne products tend to be a little bit more abrasive so this was the opposite it was soothing it's not irritating it felt really good on the skin. If you're looking for something that's going to help acne, keep your skin from being inflamed and irritated, definitely check out the Clarifying Serum. 
And the Stroke of Brilliance Brightening Serum was actually made for aging skin as well. This is for dullness, pigmentation, it's going to brighten, it's anti-aging, it's going to lighten your skin, it'll help reduce discoloration, it'll help with firmness, and it's made with niacinamide, which like I shared is helpful for inflammation, hyperpigmentation. It also has vitamin C again. So in case your skin is irritated and you want a vitamin C, I definitely recommend these two instead of this one. But unfortunately, this irritates my skin, so I don't recommend it for me, but if you can handle vitamin C as well as licorice root and hyaluronic as well as red algae, definitely check this out. It's really raved and loved by many, but not for me, so it's a pass. And then now for the Hydration Station Booster with Hyaluronic Acid. This definitely took some time to get used to. I'm not used to the consistency. It's more watery than it is thick and gel-like. I'm used to hyaluronics being more gel-like and thick, but this again is a booster, so it's just going to add more hydration. I really love it together with the gel cream, and hyaluronic is actually anti-aging, so it's supposed to help with any wrinkles, but just bring a lot more hydration to your skin. It adds that bounce, that suppleness, so I do like this. It is kind of expensive to me, but I also know Verse definitely invests and spends their money on the formulation before they spend it on the packaging. So maybe that's why it's kind of expensive for this size because of the ingredients, really great ingredients. All in all, it's a pretty good product. All right, now let's talk about the Found the Light powder with vitamin C. So what's interesting about this is it's a powder form of vitamin C. It is talc free. So in case that is important to you, it doesn't have any talc, but this is something you're supposed to add to your serum. So it could make even the brightening serum a little bit more potent. You can add it to the firming serum to add more vitamin C. You can add it to your moisturizer. It's very soft. It doesn't feel abrasive or intense. It feels very smooth and silky, but unfortunately it does irritate my skin, so I don't love it and can't really recommend it, but it is for aging skin and to help with dullness. So, pe so many people like it. They say it helps with the rosacea, it helps with acne and hyperpigmentation. So if you're looking for something brightening, for any of those issues or concerns, definitely check out that vitamin C powder. Now let's talk about the Nixit Complexion Solution with rosemary and tea tree oil. So this is quite interesting. This is non-drying. It's to tackle the early stages of those breakouts and help with the healing and deep underground acne. I wouldn't say it helps with deep underground acne, but if you see something coming, this helps with soothing it and any irritation, and it really does. This is made with tea tree oil, salicylic acid, lavender oil, lemon oil, and rosemary oil. But if you are allergic to scents, be mindful of that because like I said, it does have rosemary, lavender, and lemon oil, and those can be quite irritating to those. So packaging is a little bit annoying because it doesn't, it's not easy to come out unless you are kind of pressing it onto your skin and the pimple. So I like to press it on my hand and then rub it in. It smells quite nice. It feels more oily than it does like an astringent or a toner type. This costs $12.99. It is pregnancy safe and it's not my favorite, but it works nice. So hope that helps you decipher, but what, all these products definitely have helped keep my acne at bay so I don't grab, you know, gravitate towards this. So it's kind of a pass for me. Now let's talk about the Press Restart Gentle Retinol Serum. I absolutely love, love, love this product. So this is going to help with fine lines, texture issues, and I have noticed it keep my acne at bay. And this is a great product if you are kind of stepping into the skincare world, you've never tried a retinol, you want something gentle and clean and non-toxic. This is really, really great. I highly recommend. It is made with bucochiol, which is great for sensitive skin and those that want to smooth out their skin and any texture issues. It helps with elasticity and firmness, helps with pigmentation, it hydrates your skin. It also is made with a Aprofia, which is another natural retinol, as well as encapsulated retinol. That encapsulated retinol is able to penetrate your skin deeper and not irritate the surface layers of your skin where redness and flaking can happen. So I think this is a really great formulation. It's also made with chlorophyll 
and chlorophyll helps fight breakouts and inflammation. So this is great if you have problem skin, so like acne, it's great for texture issues. It's definitely brightened my skin. It has lessened the textures that I have on my cheeks. It's so gentle, you can use it every night. So I love this retinol serum, highly recommend. So now let's talk about the eye products. I absolutely love Versed eye products. I love them all. They're all different, but I recommend them. So let's start with the Vacation eyes brightening eye gel cost $17.99 and it's made with vitamin C which is going to promote healthy collagen production and help with any abnormal pigmentation coffee extract which is going to firm the under eye ginseng root extract which is going to depuff the area around your eye and minimize dark circles and niacinamide which is going to help with dark spots so if you have darkness under your eye this might be a great product to try I don't really have dark under eyes so for me I really like it to depuff I actually love putting this in my little mini fridge so it cools and so I like to apply this underneath an eye cream because it's not really hydrating for that this is kind of like a great little priming eye cream and then I top it off with either the zero G or the emergency eye mask it's really lightweight and I also heard it's a great primer if you have oily lids so you can put it on your lid to help kind of prevent that which is quite cool now let's talk about the Zero G Smoothing Eye Cream. So if I were going to recommend one eye cream, it would definitely be this one over these two. I absolutely love this one. It's so hydrating, so moisturizing. There are less wrinkles around my eye, so it really helps target crow's feet. It is made with a peptide blend, so it firms the under eye. Algae extract, so it's line smoothing, and olive oil, so it's quite moisturizing. And it has a peachy tinge to it, so it's brightening under the eye. There's a little luminosity to it, so it makes your eyes really glowy. I love this one, and I noticed it didn't clog any pores around my eyes, which is annoying about eye cream. I could instantly get little clogged pores around here, and none of the eye creams do that. So love, love, love this one. Highly recommend. And this one costs $17.99, so kind of pricey for like a drugstore, but I really like it. So last but not least is the Fix Emergency Eye Mask. And this eye product, this eye cream is an eye mask, so you're supposed to apply it and then wipe it off. But I love leaving it all day. I love leaving it all night. It costs $17.99 as well. And it's a great size. You get a lot in there. I really, really like this because it adds hydration, so it's made with caffeine, so it's going to help depuff. It's also made with cucumber juice, which is cooling and is going to depuff, as well as pro-vitamin B5, which is going to nourish and hydrate your under eyes. So I really like this. This is great for anybody. Love their eye creams. I couldn't recommend them more. And now let's talk about their Silk Slip Conditioning Lip Oil. I'm going to apply some because I've been talking so much, and I love this. Not many people love this, I'm gonna be honest. It's not their favorite, but I like it. So it's an oil, but it sets into like a conditioning balm. So it thickens and I find it to last longer. I love this more than Glossier's Balm.com, but I love Balm.com because it's multi-use. You can use it on your cuticles, you can use it on your elbows. I love that. And I do like this also more than the Summer Fridays lip balm because as glowy and pretty as that balm is and how yummy it smells, within 20, 30 minutes, it's rubbed off already. And this one definitely makes your lips feel moisturized and hydrated, it's longer lasting. So I really, really love this. And this has camellia oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, sunflower seed oil, and sesame oil. It costs $9.89, so I definitely recommend this Verst is also launching Silk Slip Tinted Lip Oil, which is the same consistency, just tinted. There's three colors. This is Blossom and Ruby. There's another one, which is, I forgot what the name or the color is, but I can't find it. And that one is actually my favorite one. So it's somewhere in a purse somewhere. The Blossom is pinky, but like a little bit more chalky to me. And then the Ruby has a really beautiful kind of cherry popsicle lip color too. But to be honest, I just love the clear natural one because for what this does, I really like how it feels clear. I don't really like how it feels colored. Does that make sense? Or tinted? Um, I'm not used to it yet, but that is lip oils. Now let's go into 
body oil. This is a keep it supple body oil with calendula flower and lang lang. I really like this because I actually prefer oils to lotions, but I also love mixing an oil and a lotion together. It's really easy to use. It smells so luxe, like it smells so yummy. It's made with calendula flower, lang lang oil, as well as coconut oil, sweet almond oil, and vitamin E. So it's super hydrating. It's supposed to be a dry oil, but I wouldn't say it's completely drying. It definitely feels oily. Some have said it's a little too greasy for them. I don't mind. I think because I have really dry skin on the rest of my body. Does it last all day? No. Does my skin feel hydrated and conditioned? 100%. But all in all, I recommend this if you're looking for an oil product you love hydrating with an oil. I think you're going to love this. Now let's talk about masks. I love Verse masks. I highly recommend them. They're $9.99. They're about 12 applications, but I think you get more. And what's really cool is you don't have to use them all over your face. You can use them on different parts where you can tar use them as like a target thing. So let's go through them all. So this is the Brightening Tightening Mask with turmeric and kaolin clay. And turmeric can be irritating and Kale and clay can be too, but what's really impressive is these two have are made with a clay and they don't dry out my skin. Like this one does irritate it. I notice my skin gets a little blotchy afterwards, but it goes away and my skin feels supple, feels hydrated. It definitely looks brighter after using this. So I love it. I don't always like to use products that irritate me, but it could be the turmeric because that can cause that issue. But turmeric is also anti-inflammatory. And then the clay is going to pull out any impurities. So you definitely feel like your pores are tight after using it because it is a tightening mask and it doesn't hurt to remove. There's some other clay masks out there that when you remove it your skin hurts afterwards and that's not good I don't know why that happens but this doesn't do that and I really like that but this also has witch hazel so it's going to help soothe your skin and it'll help with inflammation so I recommend this if you want something brightening I don't use this often because it kind of blotches adds red blotches to my skin but I do love the find clarity purifying mask and this one is if your skin is misbehaving and you want something that's going to help with any acne this is going to pull out any toxins and any impurities and your skin will feel refreshed and and if I like clogged pores or pimple I like to use that and it just really helps so I really love this one this one's definitely my favorite if you're gonna pick one mask go with this one it's clarifying and then the plumping hydration with rosehip aloe leaf juice as well as collagen this is just gonna use if you want to add moisture to your skin and plump it up and when your skin feels extra thirsty, like I said, this would be great if your skin is sunburned, if your skin is irritated by a product you've used, this is going to soothe it. And I really, really like this. Again, it does have rose, so that can irritate people's skin. So be mindful of that. But this one hasn't irritated me. So I really, really like this. Again, pop it in the fridge. You're gonna love it. And then another mask they have is the overnight facial peel with lactic and glycolic acid. So this was something that I didn't love initial, initially, initially, there we go. Initially, because I woke up and I would be irritated under my chin. And anytime I have irritation under my chin, I have an allergy to the product. Some days I wake up with my skin irritated. Some days I wake up with my skin looking super glowy and exfoliated and brightened. So it's going to resurface your skin, renew it, but without any flakiness. It's really interesting. This is quite gentle for an exfoliating facial peel and definitely check this one out and it comes in two sizes there's a smaller size and this larger size and it's quite nice so you can test it out before you buy the full size but so many people love this i like it i actually prefer the retinol more but the retinol is a little bit different than this different uses but i really like this and it's made with lactic acid and glycolic acid so that will break down the dead skin cells vitamin a which is anti-aging help with healthy skin production it'll exfoliate brighten and hydrate your skin and rose rose seed oil and vitamin e which will keep your skin calm and not irritated i love it i recommend it if you're into that but um kind of depends on my skin when i can use it to be honest all right, now let's talk about moisturizers. So there's a dew point moisturizing gel cream as well as skin soak rich moisture cream. They're both really great. 
The one I absolutely love is the Skin Soak, which is quite impressive because I have combination skin, irritated skin. When I use like a rich cream, I instantly get irritated, clogged pores. My skin looks super oily and greasy. But this one I can use, and I like to use it. We're kind of going into summer right now. It's still been great. It is made with vitamin E, squalane, and red algae extract. So it's anti-aging. It hydrates and replenishes moisture, as well as two hyaluronics. And red algae, algae products are so good. So it kind of reminds me of a La Mer, which I have used in the past. It's so expensive, but a really light great version it's not greasy and i just really really love this one this is my favorite this is their anti-aging moisturizer and i really dig it if you have oily skin i read reviews that a lot of babes like to use it in the evening so that's a great option and if you have more problematic skin or if you want something lighter because summer is around the corner then definitely check out the dew point gel moisturizing cream it is made with green tea extract which is going to help with aging redness great for acne prone skin aloe juice which is anti-inflammatory and hyaluronic as well so this is so so gentle, very moisturizing, not super, super moisturizing. That is why I like to put the hyaluronic booster with it, but it feels so cooling and so nice. A great one to pop in the fridge as well. Feels really, really nice, quite gentle, feels nice on the skin. My skin feels really supple afterwards. Will I say my skin feels moisturized the entire day? No, that's why I like the skin soak. Definitely recommend this one. And this costs $14.99 for two fluid ounces. So not bad it does last a bit now last but not least verse mineral sunscreen this is the guards of daily mineral sunscreen broad spectrum spf 35. so this is made with non-nano zinc oxide 15.2 percent sea fennel which is going to energize and rejuvenate the skin and moringa seed extract which is anti which has anti-aging benefits it'll prevent wrinkles and sagging and any other damage so so this is a non nano zinc oxide which means it's not only safe for the ocean it is safe for you as well so i think this is the first product that I actually like that is non nano zinc it is lightweight it'll help with environmental pollution electronic pollution as well as sun damage so I like this. I wouldn't say I love it. I love all the benefits, but I just don't like how matte and dry it feels. And it has an orange tinge to it, which I want to point out. And that blends in very seamlessly. There is no white cast. So don't worry about that. I definitely recommend you guys trying this out. It, it does cost $21.99. So it is a bit pricey for 1.7 fluid ounces, but I've had this for a couple weeks and it still feels full. But it's a great product like they really researched and formulated a really great product so for the greatness and if you want something clean definitely check it out that is it i feel like i talked your ear off i hope you guys got some insights and recommendations these are what work for me these are the products i absolutely love and i highly recommend if you guys have any questions feel free to comment them below i answer all my questions if you want to see more videos from me be sure to subscribe to my channel i will share affiliate links below so you guys can purchase anything and yeah I will let you go and I'll catch my next video bye